Hello guys, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for this LEGO Mindstorm series. Now, as you guys can probably already tell, this isn't your average LEGO Mindstorm's um, creation. This is actually just your average LEGO Star Wars set, the Clone Turbo Tank to be exact. A few of you guys might recognize it, a few of you guys may not. Anyway, I am going to show you a few added modifications I made to it, as well as the modification I made with the LEGO Mindstorms. So without further ado, let's move on. Alright, so on the back here, I didn't make any changes to the inside of the cockpit in here. However, I did make a change to the turret on the top. I made it a lot better and it can now move in a 360 motion, as well as move up and look down. Um, I decided to make it look like it had more firepower, so I included a four barrel spinning ca um, heavy cannon on the front as well as a small heads up display right there, two levers, and a better control mechanism. Over here, um, I included a better weapons rack, so I just basically changed the, the one that was already included to make it a bit better. Um, it can now hold eight blasters on each side, as well as three pistols in the center, and a pair of binoculars. Over here, um, one of the main features that I saw on the clone turbo tank in the movie, um, Revenge of the Sith, is um, when the turbo tank is charging at the enemy forces, it deploys these two side rocket launchers, which release like a giant barrage of missiles. So I thought that has to be in this set. And when it wasn't, I decided to incorporate it myself. So you have this little sliding mechanism right here, as you can see. And um, it can, and it includes two flick fire missiles along the side, and that goes the same for the other side as well. Okay, now in the main center you have um, this heavy cannon here, but that's not all. On the inside, there's a little control, um, there's a little control seat right here, which actually rotates with the um, with the cannon. So if you wanted to, you can put a little clone trooper in here like that, well, you, you get what I mean. And um, he can grab the two levers on, that I put in, and he can control through this little scope right here. Now, on to the final feature. Um, I completely changed the inside of the main cockpit. You now have a better heads up display, as you can see right here. You have um, a hologram display, which it displays Emperor Sidious. I don't know if you can really see that there. Um, there's a little compartment in the back, which allows them to store weapons, or maybe binoculars, or something like that. You know what I mean. And as well as the little windows in the back, which allows the, them to look inside and see how the cannon's functioning. Now it's time to move on to the final feature of the set, which actually incorporates the LEGO Mindstorms into it. So as you can see, I have the Mindstorms all set up here. Now as you guys can probably guess, since the it has wheels, it might as well be able to roll. Sorry if I won't be able to include a, a basic way of building this or making the adjustable features. Um, you, but you get, you get the idea. You have the two main tires in the front connected to the large motor, and that's all wired to the main brick in the back, as well as the eyes back here to allow it to be controlled through this remote control. So basically I had the program set up as if if you push any of these buttons, um, it will roll, the wheel will roll, so. And that's basically it, you guys get the idea. And um, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, that's about it you guys. Once again, I'm sorry if, um, if I wasn't able to include the way of building all these little features into the set. But, um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy these little upgrades that I add on to my LEGO Star Wars sets. And also leave a comment down below if you want me to upgrade any more of my LEGO Star Wars sets, which one with the LEGO Mindstorms. Also, one last thing before I go, I, I know that these, um, I know that these LEGO sets aren't exactly the best, like these LEGO creations. I'm working with what I have around me. If I don't have a certain piece, I'll have to improvise, and as a result, it may not work out as well 
but I, leave, le leave a comment, honestly. I, I want to know your guys' opinion, and let me know if you guys like this series. I personally like it. Um, I know my Lego creations aren't the best, but I think they, I think, personally, they're, they're not the half bad to me, so. Let me know if, if you guys are still enjoying this series. Leave a comment. Please subscribe. It would mean a lot. Thanks for watching.